Hey, this is the last in my series of videos for Superior 100 2023. I wanted to give a very quick recap and overview. I will start out by saying I went into this race seriously, physically undertrained, and I knew it. Um, a couple things at no point. It's a factor of decisions I made all summer long, and I made those decisions consciously. I didn't want to go into the race undertrained, but I made those decisions consciously and I knew I was going to probably go into this race under train. It's just the way it came out and I will say that at no point in the race did I second guess those decisions. It's just the way I was going into the race and I knew I decided I was going to deal with it by making up for it with strategy and mindset, what I teach my clients because you need all three, physical training, strategy, and mindset. And if you lack something in one of them, like physical training, you can um, bolster up with the strategy and mindset to make up for some of that. So that worked, it got me to the finish line. I will say that um, I got pretty dehydrated out there and I didn't realize it. And I think it's a factor, I come from Tennessee, it's warmer up here. I'm wearing jackets down at home. I'm in 90 degrees, 80 degrees here, it's cooler. And I tend to underestimate the factor that humidity plays. And I got pretty dehydrated. It was hard to breathe. And the last, the climbs, the big climbs on the course are in the last section. And I know that. And anyway, um, I, so that was a, that was a factor in the end of the race that made my lack of physical training that much harder physically. Um, but anyway, I had some help. My friend Lynn uh, paced me for two sections. The next two last, not the last one, but the next two before that. Um, and I asked her, I said, I'm not thinking very clearly. I can tell something's wrong. I think I'm dehydrated, but I'm peeing. So it doesn't make sense. I'm drinking extra water, but I just wasn't drinking it routinely. And I wasn't drinking enough to make up for earlier sections, I think. Um, so I told her, I said, I need your help to keep me on pace because I can't tell how fast I'm going. And she did a beautiful job of that. I probably wouldn't have finished without her focus on that. Um, but when we pulled into the last section, she said, you're on your own. I said, I know I need to do this one on my own. And um, I got there like four minutes before cutoff. Um, and so, it was really down to the wire. And what I did was I challenged myself physically to do more than I thought I could. And I really like redoubled my strategy um, on that section and really budgeted out the time I had left. I had three hours to go seven miles. Sounds like a lot, but the biggest climbs are on the, at the end of the course and I was already dehydrated. So I budgeted out my time by like what I know of that section and what I thought I wanted for each part of it in my head, strategy, more strategy for that section. And it worked out flawlessly. I pretty much hit the mark on all of it. Um, and I finished and I finished late, but I finished. So there you go. That's my race. I'm so super proud of that last section. Um, that was some hard work. And I will say, I will pass one thing on, a couple things on. If you are thinking you have no hope and it looks grim and there's no way in the last section, do not give up. All right. That's happened to me a couple times and I will tell you that I have pulled it out and don't give up. Keep at it and give it your best instead of instead of quitting and calling your race and just strolling in. Give it your best. You may be surprised. And the other thing is that if you go like strategy and mindset work. You really, you need all three, regardless of how physically well-trained you are. And I will say that strategy and mindset can fill in where um, obviously where physical training is weak. So you need all three. You run better if you have all three at a hundred percent, I will say that, but do not ignore strategy and mindset because they are critical and they made my race. All right, see ya.